hello, 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 hello. It is, it has started. It's a thirty-minute warm-up. Um, let's, let's get the timer. The timer is ready. Good morning, Kuru. How's it going? How's it going? So. I chose uh, to take this one. I'm gonna play with developing this character, uh, see where it leads. I kind of like it. I like the idea of it. This spider-like assassin. Um, the drawing itself, maybe not um, the best, but <clears throat> but I think with some redraw, some redesign. Uh, it can be pretty cool. My concern is like, how does it stand? That's something I gotta develop. So I think the first part is I'm gonna just start designing it and not worry so much about um, an illustration. Good morning, narrator. So I'm gonna like visually define the design, I guess. I guess that's that's what I want to do this this warm up. <clears throat> so let's start. Um, right, so let's play with first sketch out proportions. I guess. Let's see. Torso, hip. Obviously, very long legs. I think they need even need to be longer, or even the, or even oh that would be cool if they could fold. So the thigh is actually larger. Let's make it make it like that. Make let's let's let, let's uh, let's have the thigh from the side being it folds in one layer, right from the foot. So it actually compacts it in. And then it can extend it. That was that would be pretty cool. Uh, good morning, Chef Spartan. You're back. Welcome, welcome, welcome back. Kuru, yeah, I'll, I will try to explain the process. Uh, what you know, it's not going to be like a school or anything. I mean, what can I do in thirty minutes? But um, I'll I'll definitely talk about what I'm thinking and why I'm thinking. I guess uh, while I'm uh, while I'm uh, sketching. So, uh, my ref is on the left, yeah, for sure. No problem. Is that better, sir? Hey, Tegan Princess, good morning. Atsuki, good morning. Shweiz, you're back, fantastic. Hey, a, mis a mistake was made. Welcome. A, mis a mistake was made. No worries, man. You know why you you have no reason to be banned. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna do a front view, um, a general just a general pose. I wanna kind of start figuring out what this uh, assassin looks like. Um, the arms obviously needs to be long, longer than usual. So it's this awkward. Um, awkward proportion so that when we look at it it, it feels weird um, this, this, I, I was looking back at old streams um, at Chef Spartan actually I'm, I've set up a website for the stream and I'm uh, currently like trying to catch up on all the back catalog of all the episodes and I saw you uh, one a lot. Uh, your your topics were selected quite a few times back uh, last year, and it made me think. Oh, Chef Spartan is not here anymore. Hey, Mean Machine, welcome. Good morning. So, I think proportionally, we're starting to get there. Um, Let's cut that out so we have that explanation on the side. 
something, something like that. Let's duplicate that. And what I want to do is now I'm just I'm not caring about um, weight, line weight, or anything. Uh, all I'm thinking about now is um, uh, proportions because uh, I want to tone this down and, and probably do line art on top or, or paint on top, we'll see. Um, Chef Spartan, uh, the, what I'm currently going to do now, uh, which, which just I, w I thought I'd switch it up, switch it up a little bit, is that um, last year I did some sketching uh, based on your guy, you guys' topic, and this one was uh, my own comfort zone drawing, and um, and the idea was to take one of them and develop them, develop them all this week. So uh, not all the sketches, obviously, but I, I'm going to choose to develop this character. So I'm going to be um, messing around with the. Uh, with this drawing all week, designing it, and playing with the, the probably the illustration, probably to some degree, and just kind of developing the idea, uh, just to, to switch things up. And maybe that's something interesting for you guys to to follow, or maybe it's not. But uh, I think at least it's a worth uh, worth exploring. This this way of doing sort of a warm-up and then then we'll see if, if people like it or not if it's supposed to be something we we do again uh, or if it's boring um, no idea but why not <laughs> Atsuki no unfortunately not I didn't work on Anthem um, Anthem looks Sick though. Uh, looks really, really cool. Uh, so far on the Xbox reveal, uh, I have not any games we worked on um, being shown there. Unfortunately. Well, except Sea of Thieves. Um, we worked on Sea of, sea of Thieves. Uh, at the studio. Let's play with the silhouette a little bit more. I kind of like in the illustration. It looks kind of interesting, and I think for the. I'm hoping that there for E3 is they're gonna show more of some games we worked on, uh, hopefully. If not, well, last year we had more than every announcement was something we worked on. All right, Chef Spartan and Koro, that's great. I want to I want to develop another old sketch um, from last year. It's that uh, the mechanic voodoo priest or whatever it was called. Um, I really liked the line drawing and not so much the painting, but the line drawing was fun. And I can definitely see that being something um, worth uh, pushing more. So today, I think for this stream, I'm going to be thinking about design more. I'm going to make a boring uh, front view. And then uh, tomorrow, I will probably do a posed, posed drawing. Because I want to kind of just now figure out what, what the, um, the proportions are or the, the character looks like. And then design it in a pose. Hey, Zelin. Welcome. So let's start defining a little bit. 
So I'm obviously going to make a symmetrical design. Uh, I think um, not fully symmetrical, but m majority of the design should be symmetrical because I want it to feel um, like a machine of sorts. But later I'm going to start adding asymmetrical elements. But I think the base the base could be symmetrical to some extent. And I, I really want to have a, a really weird face on, on this character. The, the, the drawing is not really... Um, um, that weird. But maybe... Maybe we could have like two layered face. It kind of looks like it. It could be a cool idea of having two layers of a face that or maybe multiple layers so it's like a layered cake forward it should look like a human but not be a human <clears throat> it's a robotic assassin so I think something something like that Uh, Kuru, yeah, the, the thing with like symmetry is, is you really got to be careful of how you're repeating uh, repeating things because you can just create bad symmetry. Um, the trick is to kind of um, make a design that works in symmetry and then uh, enhance it with asymmetrical details. If it's fully, fully symmetrical, it it loses a lot of impact. It just becomes one of thousand. Uh, even though the design can be unique, they don't feel it, it. Usually, don't feel like a person, because the more personalized symmetry, like you try to do, the the messier it's going to be. So usually, with symmetry, less is more. And uh, that's usually not a good thing. When it comes to like a, a point of interest for a character, you know, like some some interesting assassin. Uh, but I mean, if you look at a lot of robotic designs, especially, they are very symmetrical, and ace very two asymmetrical robot designs makes them not feel robots anymore, like robots anymore. I mean, uh, in general, obviously, you can always find. Um, Examples that, that that is the opposite of my statement, but I kind of like on the illustration there. It looks like a multi a multi part abdomen, like lower body. I think that's a like it can move and shift. I think that could be a cool animation as well. Hey, Morphia. Hey, Captain Bows. I'm good, I'm good. How are you? Yeah, so last Saturday I did a community stream. I did lots of paint overs. Um, this is design challenge number 10. Unfortunately, I looked at the, um, the stream and everything is washed out compared to how I painted it. Uh, and I didn't save the paint overs um, to show the difference. And it's very grayed out in the stream, unfortunately. So. Um, I will make sure that the next two week challenge uh, I will save out all the, the paint over so that you actually see the changes because now look I was looking back at it uh, yesterday and it's a little bit hard to see really um, the the impact of the changes I did you know like saturation and contrast especially saturation and contrast especially disappeared in the, on, in the stream window um, so that's something I gotta remember for the next time to uh, to um, save them out, so you you can more clearly see the the, the result of, of what, I'm, what I was talking about rather than just listening to the words. Kuro, yeah, exactly. 
do one side and flip it, yeah. But uh, the risk with that is also you get a very flat drawing. But it works really well for design, not so much for illustration. Um, so what what kind of looks cool there on the shoulders that is complicated uh, clavicle uh, collarbone combination, like some cool shape layered. That that is a point of complexity, like out towards the shoulders, and then a clean torso. I think that will be a cool design element. So I'm gonna try to see. I want to start adding at some point more more complex mechanical parts. But as I'm already halfway through, um, I doubt I will have insane amount of time to. To just get really stuck into design work, but I think I've, I've established pretty, pretty good amount of, of design here. Uh, even though I would like to play around with shape a lot more, um, maybe I'll continue tomorrow and render the front view, make it make it stronger, flesh out some of the design decisions. Yeah, I mean, I got I got five days. Uh, maybe just doing the front view rendered up is enough. Um, we'll see. We'll see. I want it. I like on the on the reference there. It looks like I want to have it so it looks like they she can suck the arm in, almost like suspension, so that there's there's separated parts so that so that when the assassin jumps or lands, it can kind of slide into itself a little bit so that it doesn't break, so it doesn't look stiff. And that's the idea of the kind of complex shoulder as well, so it can rotate it in weird angles. Oh yeah, really, Captain Boss. That's really cool. Um, like, uh, that's great. Like I, I told about my what, my thirty minute warm up dot com website. I want to start streaming everyone else's streams as well. Like so that's a so it's a collection of uh, of community streams and uh, the core team. Um, so I'm playing catch up. Um, I think I'm around one hundred on one hundred and twenty almost episode. On season one, uh, so I'm catching up, uh, and when everything is uh, caught up, I will start adding everyone of your streams, uh, whoever is streaming, etc., etc., and and start developing the website uh, to 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 host all of you and, and so on. So we'll see, we'll see um, uh, how that that will progress. But I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful. I, the idea is interesting to have like a streamers. Uh, point of, of uh, interest, right? So that we can go and look at other people's stream, look at their gallery, look at what they've been doing, looking at the two week, uh, the two week challenge as well I want to have on, on the website and um, the gallery of everyone so that um, there's a, you know, so it's just not disappearing on Discord. I want to have everyone's um, hard work being shown publicly and then if someone goes to the site the traffic leads to everyone else so everyone else have a higher chance of getting more traffic and then yeah. ideally like uh, your all of your portfolio websites or whatever you are or whatever information you want to share so that it becomes like an art station of sorts. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to do art station uh, with Twitter or Twitch, uh, but the idea of it, uh, I think, is intriguing, and uh, that's something at least I want to try to pursue, um, and maybe hand it off to some team that can do it better at some point. But for now, I'll I'll play with the idea myself.
That's good morphia. <laughs> Captain Bose, yeah. Speak talking all the time and reading all the time takes you out of uh, creativity to some degree. Um, so it's um, an interesting challenge to have to uh, um, to attempt to, to stay focused while while talking to all of you at the same time and reading the text and so on. It's um, it's uh, definitely a challenge. Number one talent. That's great. I will make sure to to uh, to take it then when uh, when I'm at that point where I'm I don't need to play catch up with all the previous streams anymore and uh, then start populating. And I'm hoping that Discord will update so that um, it can be chat enabled as guests uh, so that people can jump between uh, communities more because currently it's very laborsome to to just jump between to another discord community and, and talk etc etc and now uh, I'm, I'm i've been looking at the developer forums for discord that a lot of people want uh, like website enabled or integrated chat um, so I'm hoping the devs uh, will update that at some point. <clears throat> so where are we? Ten minutes left. All right. Not not too bad. I mean, it, it is what it is. I'm is I'm sitting and designing shapes. <laughs> uh, we'll see. We'll see what it looks like as, as well when I flip it. That that's something I have yet to do. But uh, I'm I'm excited about the idea of uh, potential uh, evolution of the idea of having streams for everyone to to follow and watch and uh, having like um, an 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 account on the website so that when you do do a stream you make your own post on the site so that the site gets updated automatically um, so that like first of all I don't need to sit and, and put up everyone's episode and then but secondly also you get control over your own content um, and stuff like that I think that will be a cool cool uh, little thing And then having a, like a uh, latest updates wall of the community, and then each co member, you know, I don't know yet. It's still early, early days on that website, but uh, I thought I'd open it up for for public, and uh, you know, letting you guys be a part of the ongoing development of the idea and see where that leads rather than me sitting in, in secret and working on it and I just doesn't work I, I just can't work that way I'd rather have it public and and like the very much like this stream where episode one was no graphics or anything and slowly slowly like growing the the way we all interact on this uh, uh, stream and the community etc 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 Oh, thanks, Guru. Yeah, I'm I'm pl I'm playing around with the idea of of multi-layered um, anatomy. You know what? What if it if it can shift much like the idea of a layered cake on the face? 
uh, like what if the the collarbone and the shoulder etc can move independently on top of each other so that it's not static because because you're looking at the pose the assassin feels like very very animated and uh, that it can twist and turn and do all sorts of weird things and having a static anatomy that way might not uh, be that interesting so maybe one could this assassin could like twist and shift and bend and I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm just messing around with the idea of what if, a lot of what if uh, statements in my mind at the moment. What if it looks like this? What if I change that? And what what shapes to use? and Or, or what archetypes to lean on? I think I think what would be cool probably is having a little bit like a gray, you know, the the classic alien, um, a bigger dome. Reason being, it makes it look like a thinker, right? And it's not just this pinhead, but like it has to have a a brain, right? We we want it to feel like it it it's smart. So where are we? Five minutes left. Okay, I think I still don't need to mirror it, but probably I should so that I see where the mirroring is not working. So let's add some details here and there. I mean, that being said, like looking at what I've done for thirty minutes, design-wise, it's pretty okay. I mean, I I did have reference, um, be it my own sketch, but. But then I also haven't touched the legs, <laughs> which is not fun. Um, probably I've been zooming in too much, worrying about smaller details, but what can I do? So I, I kind of wanted a box on the thigh for some reason. I, I did it on the, on the sketch. I kind of like the idea of it having like armor, maybe. But I definitely like the idea of it having um, that it can rotate and shift its uh, limbs and anatomy. But the uh, shapes needs to be stronger, more, more, more. And I can't wait to like maybe add some sort of daggers or, or how does it store its swords, etc. Hey Legion Reaper, welcome. Captain Jetlag, yeah, that could be cool. That could definitely be cool. See through shock pistons. Like you could be there on the limbs, like a section of, of the arm is um a knees, etc. is all um like see-through. We definitely need uh, a second material. So see-through could work really, really well. But looking at it, I'd say it looks pretty cool. I think we're onto something. I, I, I'm not keen on the, the front here. It's way too... Uh, the shape is way too awkward and uh, just like a big lump. So what I want to do is uh, probably separate it uh, make it more advanced, have the shape loop more through the neck. Uh, but I also want to have it the neck thinner because I want to suggest it's thinner and have a, like a cow, cow, right? Collar, maybe, better word for it. Going back, I think that's better.
Yeah, round two for sure. Um, I think we, we're going to render this up, start adding materials, starting defining the design a little bit more. Currently, like I like the idea of it. The shapes are, are getting there, but I'm still not happy with where the shapes are and how they interact with each other. I want to show second material more. I want to show a second layer of details, much like that little change I did there. I want to have it slightly more complex and 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 awkward in the way it's the torso, for example, is designed. At the moment, it feels just like a like a doom armor, uh, which I don't like. I want to have it quite different. So one minute left, I'm going to do some quick changes here and then mirror the torso again um, and hopefully things will look slightly something better. Maybe some vent holes. Let's copy that. <clears throat> yeah, the, the 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 thing in the chest looks better, but still not good enough. Um, but I'll fix that later. I think the problem is the the way it goes up. All right, it's a good start. Not the maybe the most interesting uh, to look at. I don't know. Uh, I'd love to. Um, hear your thoughts about it. Um, so when the episode is uploaded on um, on YouTube, maybe you guys can write um, your thoughts about it and uh, what maybe you'd like to see me uh, play around with or etc. Et Any feedback is positive. Um, yeah. All right. Captain Bose, the material changes comes uh, as you're developing. First in design and then uh, representation of the material. You know, like, is it shiny? Is it there? Uh, Chef Spartan, it's like an assassin, I was thinking. A spider assassin that can attack in all sorts of weird ways. Mean Machine, yeah, the idea, I mean, obviously it's more stiffer. Uh, I want to start developing the shapes a little bit more in the in the front view, so it has a little bit more of that organic feel. Um, but as it's, I mean, it's 30 minutes so far, and but uh, yeah. All right, thanks everyone for coming. Have a fantastic day, good night, wherever you are. Um, tomorrow, part two, where I'm going to keep pushing the design, keep pushing the shapes. I see a lot of mistakes I want to correct. Um, the hip area looks weird. Uh, stomach looks too flat in, in silhouette. Um, anyways, I, I think I want to have some sort of electrical armor, maybe. Um, some sort of, I don't know. Let's let's keep on developing the idea over over this week. Uh, have a fantastic day. Good night. Good day. Uh, outro time. Princess wave. <laughs>